Hello to everyone. Всім привіт. I'm Nika Minchenko and this is my first lesson of the Ukrainian language. And today we will learn how to read in Ukrainian. So, we will begin with Ukrainian alphabet, of course. Українська абетка. Ukrainian alphabet is based on Cyrillic script and includes 33 letters, 21 consonants, one semi-vowel, or sometimes it's also described as a consonant, 10 vowels, one soft sign and an apostrophe. Here you can see how the Ukrainian alphabet looks, but we will not read it now, because our goal in this lesson is not to learn how the letters are called. It's not so important right now. We need to learn how to read, so we will deal with the sounds that these letters make. So let's go to the first slide. Here we have the letters that are your true friends. They look absolutely like the letters in uh, English alphabet or in Latin script. And also they have, well, almost the same sounds. You can memorize them by the phrase cometa i. Imagine that a comet is flying to the Earth and want to kill everyone. And the name of this comet is E. <laughs> Just memorize this association and you will always remember the letters that are read the same as in English, but in Ukrainian. Cometa I. So, we will start to read the words from these letters uh, and we will read them by syllables. You know that syllable is a collocation of few letters. Syllables can be open and closed in Ukrainian. Open ones are end on a vowel, which are more popular in Ukrainian language, because Ukrainian is melodic language. And closed are end with a consonant. Always one of the syllables in the word will be stressed. If there is just one syllable, it always will be stressed. If there are more than one syllable in the word, one of them will be stressed. The stress doesn't have certain rules in Ukrainian language, so it can be quite random. And basically you need to memorize the stress for each word, unfortunately. But I will put all the stresses so you could read easily. What actually a stressed syllable means at all? It is the syllable that we read a little bit louder and a little bit longer than other syllables. Let's take a look. The first word, the most famous word in the world, <laughs> mama. Which syllable is stressed? The first one. So we say mama, not mama, but mama. First syllable is a little bit longer. The next one. Atom. Atom. Tomat, tomat, kometa, kometa, cacao, cacao, kit, kit, and comic, comic. So we have read all the words. First of all, you need to feel now that you know all of them, because I have chosen only foreign words in Ukrainian language, so you could easily not just read, but feel that you recognize the words. And another important moment is that in Ukrainian language we do not have reduction of sound or, like for example in Russian. If in Russian unstressed or will sound something like a, in Ukrainian it will sound just like o, so it's a little bit easier to read in Ukrainian. Kometa, kakao, atom. You can hear that sound o stays where it is and the stress is not important. By the way, among these words there is a sound t, which in Ukrainian is a little bit different from English one. When we say Ukrainian t, we touch our upper teeth with our tongue, t, t, while in English we touch the alveoles, t, t, right? So the sound is a little bit different and if you use these uh, little prompts you can reduce your accent in Ukrainian, t, t, 
So these letters were all familiar to you. Let's move to the next slide. Here we have false friends. Those that may betray you a little bit sometimes, but it's okay. You need just to practice them. These are the letters that look the same as in your alphabet, in English alphabet, I mean. But they have absolutely different sounds in Russian and we need to remember them. So let's see. The first letter has sound R. R. And by the way, Ukrainian R is a little bit different from the English one. You understand it, right? It's more old. R. Maybe later I will make a lesson. Let me know if you need it. Uh, so I will explain you how you can learn to roll Ukrainian R sound. Now let's just read the words from the list with this sound. Rock, Rom, Retro, Teatr, Karta, Raketa, Metro. The next letter has sound S. S. Test, Stress, Text, Cosmos, Maska, Comics. The next letter has sound N. N in Ukrainian. It's N. Let's read the words with it. Kino, Nota. Moment, Commentar, Nomer, Restaurant. The next letter reminds English U, but it has sound U in Ukrainian. This is letter U, a vowel. So, if you have problems with saying this sound, you need to do a small exercise. Take a pencil or a pen, put it in your teeth like this, and try to say sound E, which you can say, but try not to touch the pen with your tongue, like this. E, e, e. This way you will learn how to say Ukrainian E. You need to practice, of course, a little bit separately than in syllables than in the words, but you will manage to do it quite soon, I promise you. Just try. So, let's read the words with sound. Рис, система, рим, рима, син. By the way, if you have uh, any problems with translation or understanding of these words, I will give their translation in the video description, so you could check yourself. The next letter has sound V. V. Let's read. Veteran, Verona, Vino, Vitamin, Vatican. The next letter looks like English Y, but has sound U. Ooh, in Ukrainian. Universitet, studenti, tourist, cactus, souvenir. And the last letter in the list will have sound H. <laughs> Character, Kharkiv. Herson, hacker. Please be attentive with these letters and don't confuse them with the Latin letters and their sounds. And now we go to the strangers. These are the letters that do not exist in the Latin alphabet. They look differently and definitely you need to memorize the sounds they make. Let's see. The first one has sound B, B. Let's read the words. Bar, bank, autobus, box, bankomat, bunker. 
The next letter, letter uh -huh. Uh -huh. If you learned Russian, you will feel now the difference because Ukrainian letter uh -huh is different from Russian letter G uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's more fricative sound uh -huh. Let's read the words with it Гитара Гы Гы Гитара Митинг Гумор Гимнастика Гамбургер mm -hmm. And the next letter actually has sound G G it is more rare letter in Ukrainian language. We have a list of words that you need to memorize with this letter and also some borrowed words that in English had letter G and sound G. They will be uh, transliterated into Ukrainian with letter G. Like Geteborg, Galahan, Gete. One more time. Geteborg, Galahan, Gete. So don't confuse letters H and G in Ukrainian. The next letter has sound D, D. And here is the same situation as with the sound T. English and Ukrainian D is a little bit different. In, in English we say D, in Ukrainian D. Again, your tongue need to touch upper teeth. So let's read. Radio, radio, radar, Dublin, video, tender. The next letter looks like number three, but has the sound z, z. Visa, business. Криза, музыка, казино. The next one has sound L, L. Лидер, лимон, клуб, доллар, клоун, баланс. Here you also may hear that Ukrainian L is a little bit more like more rough than English one. It's not L, it's L. Again, more uh, ahead, da? your tongue goes more ahead. L, L, L. I almost put it between my teeth. L, L, L. Just try it. The next letter has sound P, P. You may memorize, by the way, this letter by association with a parking lot. Parking! And it looks like parking lot. Letter P and sound P. Park. Passport. Problema. Grupa. Pilot. Port. And the next letter, letter uh, F that has sound F. This letter was taken to Ukrainian alphabet quite late and all the words that include this letter are borrowed in Ukrainian language. So, office, football, photograph, telephone, fact. Let's go on. Here we have five letters. The first one Letter Y, it's called Y and has sound Y. y. Uh, usually, when it goes in the beginning of the word, we uh, consider it a consonant, but sometimes it becomes kind of semi vowel or may mean uncompounded sound. About this, that in Ukrainian language there are two uncompounded sounds Y and O. We will talk in the next lessons. We will not focus on it now. Now let's focus on how to read them. So, letter Y, sound Y. Yoha, yogurt, musei, volleyball, site. 
Next letters, four of them. Ye, you, ya, ye. They are vowels, so-called yotted vowels. So basically, they include this yot sound and then usual vowels like e, u, a, and e. That is why we read them like ye, u plus e, ye, u, ya, and ye, ye. Let's read the words with letter Е. Европа. Еретик. Египет. Євро. Гігієна. Words with letter U. Юпітер. Сюрприз. Продюсер. Бюро. Words with letter and sound Я. Демократія. Італія. Яхта. Компанія. And the most interesting letter Ї and sound Ї. And of course there are such words, symbolic words as Україна. Україна. Київ, Київ, героїзм, героїзм, ідеї, привілеї. So sometimes this letter may mean a plural form in some words. We will talk about it later. But sometimes it may go just in the beginning of the word or in the middle of the word. What is interesting about this letter is that it will never go after a consonant, only after vowel or in the beginning of the word. If you need to use it after a consonant, then before it you must use an apostrophe. Such words we will meet later, they are not borrowed. Now let's go to the next letters and sounds. So the first letter has sound ж, ж, ж. Журналіст, жираф, піжама, Женева. The next one. Sound ц, ц. Центр, цунамі, цар, ситуація, емоція. The next one. Sound ch, ch. Mostly it will be hard in Ukrainian. Ch. If you learned Russian before, you know that in Russian sound ch is soft. In Ukrainian it's hard. Ch. Champion. Czech. Match. Czechia. Sandwich. The next letter is Sh, sh, sound sh. Шоколад, шок, машина, шарм, Швеция. And the last letter here, well, not the last, but the next letter, letter sh. -ch. Also, if you learned Russian before, in Russian letter ш is soft. Ш, ш, sound ш. In Ukrainian it's hard. Ш. It's like affricate that has two sounds in a row. Ш, ч, ш, ч, ш and ч, ш, ч. Like in the famous word борщ, the famous Ukrainian dish. Борщ. That is why, by the way, in English you have transliteration. Bo, R, and then sh, ch. And one more letter that doesn't have a sound, because it's a soft sign in Ukrainian, which makes previous consonant soft. Let's read. Folklore. Folklore. Alcohol. Control. Film. Now our mysterious apostrophe. 
What it makes in Ukrainian language is a pause. If you are learning Russian, you know that in Russian we have uh, a hard sign, while in Ukrainian we have apostrophe. It's like instead of it. The apostrophe like makes a pause between a consonant and a vowel. Like in the word interview. We say interview, not view. Like we would read if there would be no apostrophe. But view, v, you. Like a pause between them. We don't read them like one syllable. Interview, або курьер, курьер, not курьер, but курьер. Инъекция, инъекция, барьер, барьер, объект, объект. This is what the apostrophe is in Ukrainian language. And also we have a pair of uh, so-called affricates in the Ukrainian language. Uh, they are considered like one sound, one complicated sound. DZ and DZ. Often they will be, by the way, used for transliteration of uh, the borrowed from English language or some other languages words like name Jack, it will be affricate dž, like English letter J, basically. So, джинсы, джаз, image, budget, manager, and for dž, ninja, dzudo. Dž is more popular, of course. Also, in Ukrainian language, we do not have letter that describes sound your. Like, for example, in Russian we have letter yo, in Ukrainian we don't, but we have this sound and it can be expressed either with the collocation of letters yot and o, yo, if the word begins with this sound. Or if you need the sound yo in the middle of the word or in the end, you will use the collocation of soft sign and letter o, like in the word leon. And especially you need to remember the word million, million, where we have at first a soft sign and then the collocation yot plus o that describes and expresses the sound yo, million, a million. So now you know all the letters. Let's practice reading of some greetings, words and just polite words in Ukrainian. Привіт, вітаю, доброго ранку, добрий день, добрий вечір, на добраніч, дякую, будь ласка, вибач. Or выбачте. The difference between these words is that выбач is informal, выбачте formal, or the words addressed to a group of people. Мені так шкода. Мені так шкода. Слава Україні. Героям слава. I think you may practice reading this list again because these words are those words that you may need to know if you are learning the Ukrainian language. So practice reading together with learning the words. And now let's read some sentences. They include a lot of foreign words uh, and you may understand what is going on in those sentences from the pictures and just in case, I also have put their translations. Let's just practice how these sentences should sound. Це Джек і Мері. Вони американці. Вони живуть у Нью-Йорку. Це Кірі. Вона живе в Індії. 
Кірі Блогер. Вона веде аккаунт в інстаграмі. А це Петро і Оксана. Вони з України. Але зараз вони в Парижі. Вони роблять селфі біля Ейфелевої вежі. And one more slide. Це Джейн. Вона туристка. Зараз вона в Ріо-де-Жанейро. Це Саманта. Вона живе в Лондоні. Зараз вона гуляє біля Бігбена. А це Кетрін. Вона турагент. Зараз вона працює в Греції. So what can I say now? Congratulations! You have read your first sentences and words in the Ukrainian language and you actually could understand many of the things that you were reading. And this is your very first step to the Ukrainian language. Together with me? So thank you very much for watching this lesson. Please give me a thumb up and share this video with your friends who may be interested in learning Ukrainian at least a little bit. If you are new on this channel, please subscribe. There will be more Ukrainian language lessons soon. Thank you for being with me. Write me your comments. What do you think? Did you manage to read something in Ukrainian? Maybe you have any questions? I will be glad to answer. Thank you once again and see you soon. Bovaite!